Hey look, new background stuff. What is up, or possibly down viewer, my name is P-Tot, that's past tense of draw for those who are new around here. <clears throat> and I just had to clear my throat, but um, uh, today I got something in the mail, I want to show it off to you. Kind of do like an unboxing slash like first impressions type thing. Um, I've got some reviews that I have ideas for that will be coming soon, but uh, in the meantime, behold, it's a box. I cannot show you the back side of the box because uh, that's where my information and stuff is, but I, uh, you can see the contents is fragile and wrapped in electrical tape, but in all seriousness, uh, this was sent to me by none other than the wonderful folks at TF Safari, not sent over to me, I ordered it. I ordered this off of TF Safari, this video is not sponsored by TF Safari, but I ordered this there because uh, that website's awesome, go check them out, they're incredible. And uh, yes, anyways, we're gonna slice this open and see what's inside. I say see what's inside like it's a mystery, I, I already know what's inside, or at least what's supposed to be inside. Behold! A sharp object. Um, yes, so we'll just uh, slice this. I, I, oh crap, y'all saw that. Uh, I can edit that out. Um, uh, so, I didn't really decide where the uh, best place to slice this would be before uh, coming down here. I probably should have done that, but it just shows how unprofessional I am. Whoa, and you can't see it, but I am in fact putting it here at the top and down the middle looks like a freaking bomb with all this tape and stuff like gosh dang all right that was not a good idea to put my hand there please don't ever do that knife safety people let's express knife safety why don't we uh close up my sharp object here bye bye and uh get right in bits of cardboard flying everywhere Ooh, i've never seen black styrofoam pellets before only the white ones huh all right so if i am not mistaken which i believe i'm not uh this should be a the pocket toys uh idw Bruticus and Compaticons, not Compaticons with a P, it's Compaticons with a B. Uh, yes, I ordered this, it's basically a knockoff of Iron Factory's Bruticus, uh, one-to-one -one knockoff. The review said it had great plastic and stuff, and uh, I didn't want to pay full price for the actual one. I just wanted to kind of experience a third-party combiner here. Also, I've never owned a full combiner team. I know, what's wrong with me? Uh... Ooh, one of the smaller guys here. Uh, it did say a loose pack, so they're all packaged separately here. No box or anything. Ooh, ooh, I like what I see here. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, look at that. Sticker sheet. Oh, it came with a sticker sheet. Oh, that makes me happy. I'll throw those on some of those. Uh, don't need this box anymore. That goes on the ground now. Uh, Transfer, the Evil Energy Panzer Legion Instruction from Pocket Toys. That, something fell down, hold on. So yes, it does look like there was quite a bit more stuff than I had originally anticipated. So let's uh, bang these open and take a look at them one at a time. So this is all like fresh first impressions for me. Like I have no idea um, uh, what I'm grabbing. I'm just grabbing a random bag and uh, opening them because they all kind of use like uh, bags of uh, bubble wrap. But uh, did not expect to get a little shockwave gun here. That's quite cool. This is obviously meant to be some form of shockwave gun. Looks like uh, there's a little like targeting site you can flip up. Uh, plastic feels really good for knockoff stuff. This is technically a knockoff or like fourth party or whatever, but this feels nice. Um, did not expect a little shockwave gun. Also, what came with a shockwave gun is this. And I broke it. Uh, it looks like these are going to be, like, the guns for all the guys. Yeah, yeah, it's just a bunch of... It's just a whole arsenal here of different ways to lay a bot... To kill a bot here. Uh, let's... That's got some sort of hinge going on. Oh, oh, okay. I get it. I get it now. I got it. I understand looks a lot like Prime's Blaster a bit. Yeah, alright, so uh, got a bunch of guns and a 
shockwave gun as well. This doesn't look like it transforms. I think that's got to be like a reference to uh, Combiner Wars Bruticus, how they make, like made a shock shockwave part of that set. Uh, so that's got to be in reference to that. So the combined mode can probably hold this. So that's cool. You also got some sort of like plasma looking rifle here. I got a, is that five millimeter? Is that port five millimeter compatible? It is. Oh, that opens up a world of possibilities. Uh, is that, that does not, that's not blast effect compatible though, but you got a rifle. Looks like we get a smaller rifle, some dual wieldy uh, triangular pistols. Those look very nice. And some submachine sub gun looking things here. That was hard to say and they won't focus. With detachable magazines, if you just want to have a regular more blaster look, but I'm going to keep those on because they look sick. So, oh, articulatable grip. That's a word, articulatable. So yeah, a uh, full bag of just guns, first impressions. I mean, it makes sense because Combaticons, so a uh, big bag of guns. Let's uh, set these off over there. Take a look at the next bag. The next bag has contained not one, but two... Massive combiner mode feet. Uh, they're about the same here. They just got like, you know, those sticks off the back. Uh, you do have wheels inside of them, which leads me to believe that these are going to become some part of like Onslaught's alternate mode. So yeah, uh, just a bag of feet. <laughs> yeah, that sounds weird. Uh, <laughs> some feet for uh, the uh, super robot there. Uh, I did not mean to drop that. That's probably damaged forever now. What's wrong with me? Next bag. So I'm not going to try and spoil everything that's going to be in my inevitable review of these guys, but uh, looks like we got a torso here in the next bag with a very nice looking head on it. The antenna is bent. I can probably fix that right here maybe. I might just clip those off because uh, uh, I'm not sure how badly I want those, especially if one is bent, but that's a cool looking torso there for the super robot. We also got a crotch plate of sorts definitely a crotch plate looks like it's got some hinges going on we'll save that for later ah, a little bag of there was a bag in the bag clearly i want to keep something safe here looks like some just pieces here looks like some sort of uh detachable like missile pods here we'll see what all this is for i'll check the instructions later but uh Looks like a uh, some sort of guns here, possibly. Yeah, definitely. More guns here. Uh, oh, uh, Vortex's rotor blades, for sure. That's definitely what these are. It's nice they came packed separately to ensure that they don't break. Uh, a cockpit? Is that... Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's definitely some sort of helicopter cockpit. We'll see where that takes us. And some pink bits. Is there some little... Pink uh, pieces of clear plastic there. Gotta do the test because there's a hole on it. It's 5mm compatible. I love the 5mm port system here. I wonder... Sorry, you can hear my chair squeaking a lot. I really need to get a new chair for down here. But our... Let's take in my subject here, Braun. These guns 5mm compatible? Uh, looks like they're a bit undersized than this one. Uh, doesn't look like it is. Oh, these are, these aren't guns. These are probably like Vortex's landing gear. So this is probably all stuff for Vortex. So yeah, bag of extra stuff for Vortex there. We'll uh, set that off and open up the next one. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. It is in fact Vortex. Uh, so it seems I was right about this little bit here being the cockpit because uh, looks like it's kind of missing one there just the little windows on the side so there's got to be is that how it attaches yeah looks like it is all right so we got a vortex here looks very nice like in the colors you can basically well that fell off i'll figure it out later uh you can kind of see the guy underneath but it's a combiner third party legend scale here i can manage it uh looks very nice uh little spinny blade up top i'll throw the actual blades on it later uh but yeah that is your vortex and uh looks nice 
It's funny, I was just thinking, we were three bags in, haven't gotten any characters besides the little shockwave gun. The, I think the rest of them are all going to be uh, the actual Combaticons from here on in. So uh, let's move on to the next one. Who else would it be but the sly con man himself, Mr. Swindle? And uh, this is a very nice looking uh, off-roader mode, kind of nice beige color, like the you know, metallic windows. Uh, it's kind of got a bit of open space in there, but I imagine that's how a vehicle like this would work. Uh, looks like some toes around the back. I'll fix those later. And uh, looks like he uh, cleans up pretty well. So, uh, how well does he roll? Rolls very loudly and uh, pretty well. So, that would be Swindle. I almost called him Vortex. Oh, Panzer of the Lake of Pellets, what is your wisdom? Sorry, couldn't resist. It's Brawl. It's Brawl. It's a very mean looking tank mode, very aggressive. Um, I noticed that the uh, turret was on a bit of like a double hinge system because uh, obviously it's not. Oh, wait, yeah, there it goes. You can off center it if you. If that's how you like your tanks, if you like your tanks with an off center turret, I'm not going to stop you. Uh, you can see his face under there, right, uh, right there, underwear. <laughs> uh, looks like he's got some ports on the side that um, are, in fact, 5 millimeter. And arm them up with some stuff. If you have some bones laying around, you can arm them up with those. Nice sort of silver treads, and I just like the idea of a tank, eh, a transforming tank in my house. I haven't really had a proper tank bot in a while, so this will do quite nicely for that. That's your brawl. T minus three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Eh, was that clever? I think that was clever. Here's Blastoff, uh, your brown shuttle. Never understood why he was brown. I don't think anybody ever has and ever will. We just accept it and move on because that's how a lot of things work around this fandom. He looks cool, though. I like the uh, pink for the windshields. It looks very nice. Uh, actually looks pretty sick. Uh, could use a, a fresh coat of paint, though. Probably around since, like, 1942, this shuttle, if it's this shade of brown. But some more stuff came in Blastoff's bag. He also got some hands. Uh, looks like this one may be missing a sort of wrist clamp there. I will try to find that, but maybe it's supposed to be like that. But these hands do look very poseable. Nice to excited to see how these work out. Let's see. Can we do? Can we do? Uh, let's do. Let's do a hang loose. Let's do a. Let's do a. What is a hang loose? Yeah, pinky and thumb. Let's do a hang loose here. Uh, hinge those down. Whoa, that is incredibly tight. Tighter than I would like it to be. There we go. Hang loose. There we go. That's nice. And he also got this, uh, blue chunk. Kind of looks like the, uh, dilapidated skeleton of what once was Roller, possibly. But this is probably going to go to Onslaught, so, uh, we'll save that for him. Now, when they said Legend Scale Combiner, I was expecting these to be pretty small, but Onslaught here in what I think is the base configuration, because in some pictures I saw, he's also supposed to have like some sort of massive trailer. This is pretty big. This is like probably deluxe sized for a legend scale combiner. One sec. Yeah, there's your little side by side there. SS86 deluxe class brawn and uh, pocket toys knockoff of Iron Factory Bruticus. This is something I was planning on saving for the review, but I just want to show you guys now, like, look at that. They're, like, equally sized. Like, this is massive for what I was expecting to be a legend scale thing. Like, I was expecting this, these to be around, like, the size of that uh, legend scale ricochet that I have. This is way bigger than I thought. That is way cool, but um, this isn't about brawl. Brawn. This isn't about brawn. <laughs> Names are confusing. This is about Onslaught. Look at this. Dark blue windows. Nice sort of tealish blue going on. Bit of green poking through, but that's alright. Uh, it's got some massive cannons here. These look awesome. It's got some pink going on in there for like some Energon. Looks like it does not rotate, but that's alright. I imagine a truck like this probably wouldn't have a rotating turret. It does have this secondary uh, sort of turret under here that can in fact rotate so that's nice and it's detachable as well that's why it rotates um that's not going back on hold on oh i'm just gonna lift up some hands there so yeah there's uh there's your onslaught and uh that is actually probably my favorite vehicle mode that is so sick 
in total, I paid 53 American US dollars for this set. And I got Onslaught, Brawl, Blast Off, Swindle, Vortex, I'm running out of space over here, a sticker sheet, some hands, can't grab them, some feet, a withered corpse of roller, a combiner torso, a combiner under, uh, what am I saying, combiner undies, this dual missile pod thing, a shockwave gun, and all of these extra little bits that there are a ridiculous number of that one just fell down on the floor. Look at all this extra stuff. All of this, 53 bucks. If that is not worth it, I don't know what is. I can't emphasize enough. This, this, this is awesome. 53 bucks. Sorry about my finger there, but yeah, 53 bucks for all that. That has got to be one of the best deals I've seen in a long time. So that's going to do it for my uh, unboxings and first impressions of this uh, Bruticus set. Um, I will, uh, I do intend to make a full review of the entire set soon to come. So uh, stay tuned for that. There'll be more reviews coming out um, in the near or far future. And, um, if you want to, you can subscribe. It helps me out a bit. And leave a comment. Share this with your friends. Uh, uh, eat a steak. Have a banana. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, this has been a Black Styrofoam pellet. Bye!